Ladies and gentlemen, myself and my two esteemed colleagues have been summoned from our daily activities to kindly do this Zelda tier list for you low IQ individuals. Say hello, boys. Hello. Hello, everybody. I am Joseph Biden, the 12th President of the United States. I absolutely love Zelda games. Well, there's no surprise you like a game about a boy running around in tiny shorts, Sleepy Joe, but without further ado. Breath of the Wild, a real masterpiece of a game, a work of art with the scope, ambition, and gaming world unparalleled by anything even today, in my opinion. I haven't played many of these games. Does it matter? Sleepy Joe, you idiot. What's the point in you being here if you didn't play most of the games? I value his input, Donald, so sit down and calm down before your toupee falls off. Thanks, Obama. You're always defending your boyfriend, Obama. Okay, so getting back to business breath of the wild goat tier, definitely. I spent 200 hours on that game and still had loads of content left to do. Gaming perfection, absolutely. I didn't play this game. I think it came out before I was born. When were you born, Joe? I have no idea. Okay, moving on, and good to get off to a positive start. What about Ocarina of Time? Ocarina of what? Of time, Joe, wash your ears out. Oh, okay, Donald, no need to be nasty. I guess if you washed your ears out, your orange skin dye would drip down your big fat head. Ocarina of Time, God, tier uncontroversial. I used to play this in the Oval Office all the time. I agree, an N64 classic and an excellent game to speedrun. How fast can you speedrun it in? Two weeks if I play without bathroom breaks. Wow, that's fast. Now the Phantom Hourglass originally on the DS, if I remember correctly. Yes, I remember playing this on the way to work on the train when I was a senator. I would never take the train, Sleepy Joe, because it's beneath me. I only take a limousine or my private jet because I love to leave as big a carbon footprint as possible because global warming is fake news. Okay, let's focus, shall we? I'd say Phantom Hourglasses be a solid game, but with some super frustrating time stealth areas that kind of took you out of it. Okay, I'll let you have that. Majora's Mask, another goat tier game. We already discussed this on our N64 tier list, which you should check out after this. Absolutely Obama amazing game. Charming, incredible art and storyline with some really funny moments. I've just noticed I have odd socks on. I asked the Secret Service to make sure my socks were correctly matched so they will be facing disciplinaries. Twilight Princess B tier for me. The game was all right, but I didn't like the art style and the kind of direction they took the franchise. Yeah, the graphics sucked Obama, and that section where you played as a wolf was pure ass, I'd say C tier, but you're in charge. Damn straight Trump, but I'm not a monster and do tolerate a certain amount of dissent. So feel free to be honest with me. B tier it is for Twilight Princess. I wish I was a little princess. Next up is A Link Between Worlds, although I'm going to have to say this is the most recent version because none of us have played the old one. I'd say a tier. Not a perfect game, but one with enough ingenuity and interesting lore to make me not want to put it down, even when the dog was humping my leg. Or was it the cat? The cat gets pretty frisky from time to time, and my leg always comes in handy to satisfy it. Gross too much information, Sleepy Joe. A link between worlds, absolute trash. I hated it, so I must appeal the decision. Overruled, Donald, my house, my rules, so sit down or get out. Now what about Skyward Sword? I'd say it was pretty bad. And the recent remaster for the Switch was such a blatant money grab. A bit like when Donald begs for money for the Trump Foundation. I'd agree with that C tier, I'd say. I didn't really like the graphics and the environments looked drab and boring and a lot of the content was repetitive and dull. Well, Skyward Sword is my favorite game in the entire franchise. I think we should move it to goat tier. Not gonna happen, Donald. While I respect your opinion, once again, I'm gonna shut it down, giving you no right to any recourse. If you wanna step outside to resolve our differences once filming has concluded, you can be my guest. But for now, please just keep quiet. What about The Wind Waker? I love that game, although the traversal was a bit annoying in the original GameCube version. They made some fantastic quality of life improvements in the recent remaster, which made me fall in love with the game all over again. I'm with Donald. I love that game, and I love the cell shading art style and the cute graphics. Yep, that's going in A tier. I think great minds think alike. What are we saying about Spirit Tracks originally on the DS back in 2009? I haven't played it, but it looks cool. Let's put that in A, another fantastic addition to the franchise with a really cool train transport system taking link between areas. I'm getting kind of hungry now. Well, here are some Cheetos, although don't eat them in front of the microphone because they make a loud crunching noise. Hey, hey these are the same color as Donald's skin. Shut up, Sleepy Joe. What about the Minish Cap? Now that's a blast from the past, Game Boy Advance, if I'm correct. B tier, I'd say, an excellent game for its time, but it's a little bit outdated now, a bit like Donald's suit collection.
C tier, but whatever, Obama, it's your list. Oracle of Seasons and Oracle of Ages. I'm dumping them both in C because I've never played them unless you boys have any objections. Nope, never played it. Nope, no objections from me, Obama. Are we nearly done yet? The original Legend of Zelda, I have to at least put that in a tier because of what became of the series. I think this was on the NES, but I never owned it. I played this on my friend's NES, and it was a great game, so I'd say yes, Obama, A, or B, definitely. I've never played it, but I think I'd like to if you can still buy a copy. I'm going to put the rest of the titles in C, not because they're bad, but because the audience is probably bored now, and they're so old, I don't think any of us has played them. Anyway, we all just wanted to say thank you. If you've made it this far into the video, we really appreciate it. Like and subscribe, please, folks, and leave a comment with what you want to see next.